Hey everyone, welcome back! After many requests from you guys, I have decided to bring you four more hacks that will instantly make you look more chic and elegant. These are tips and tricks that work on practically anyone, so if you want to take your chic level to new heights, keep watching. Now, last time that we spoke about this subject, I talked about how fabulous earrings can just elevate any look. Case in point, Zara, 15 bucks. So staying on the topic of jewelry, I feel like a statement gold necklace is also a great partner in your style journey. It sort of gives you that immediate injection of glamour and self-confidence, making you look powerful and radiating that energy that just makes you look like you know what you're doing. But just like the earrings, I do think that there are some features and some characteristics that we need to pay attention to if we want this hack to work. Number one, I would highly suggest you to run away from any colorful, beady, kind of craftsy option. I think staying on gold or silver, like a solid metallic, makes a huge difference. And second point that I think makes a lot of difference in this hack is wearing a shorter necklace, something that will be closer to your clavicle. I think that longer necklaces can look a little boho depending on uh, what type of embellishment or what type of chain you are wearing. It can even look a little bit too young and too hip. So having something almost like a choker or something, you know, a little bit shorter, especially worn with higher necklines, will make you look immediately more chic. And here I do feel like you have to be smart with proportion. So if I'm wearing a statement necklace, I will not wear big dangly earrings. I will probably either wear something that is a little bit more subdued or I will choose a set. So earrings and necklaces that actually match perfectly. So if you feel like your outfit is a little bit boring, maybe you're wearing neutral colors, maybe you feel like you're dressed too conservatively, adding that necklace will just switch up the chicness of your look. Second point, and I have talked about this before, are necklines, especially on t-shirts. I really do feel like the higher the neckline, the closer to elegance and sophistication. I have a deep, deep hatred for V-neck t-shirts. On me, I feel like it just drags my look down. I always look too casual, too frumpy. You will see me here wearing a V-neck t-shirt and it just looks basic. And when we choose to wear a t-shirt, we are already in a more casual situation. So I do feel like if you can elevate a little bit that element, you should. Here, you will see me with a crew neck. This looks a little bit better. Uh, maybe pairing this with jeans or with shorts makes it look cool. But still, to me, it is kind of too casual. Option number three is a boat neck. Now, this looks a thousand times better. You will see that it looks a little bit more feminine, more interesting, more flattering. Pairing it with jeans, again, looks so much better. But you can also start pairing it with other items in your wardrobe like maybe a blazer or a high waist skirt. To me, this is very clearly more put together and more polished, but you guys know that my favorite way of improving and enhancing a t-shirt is going for a high neck. This is one that I got from Zara a while ago. I wear it to death. It goes well with everything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. I got it in a white and in a black. And honestly, I have worn the black to go out to dinner. I have worn it with a cape. I have worn it with like a tuxedo smoking jacket. And it looks perfect. Great for layering with necklaces. Great as a base for a scarf. This this is the tip that I feel like anyone should adopt in their wardrobe. So maybe what works for me won't work for you. So next time that you're doing some shopping and you're not sure how things will look or fit, try to find the same color of top in different shapes 
and necklines and see which one looks best on you which one makes you feel more comfortable i personally am a fan of again boat necks cowl necks mock necks high necks roll neck so yeah even if you're wearing just a simple white t-shirt make it chic remember the boat neck t-shirt from the previous tip well i got this shirt in two colors one green one white once i put it on i saw that the sleeves were too long for my taste the shirt cost less than 10 bucks and it really bugged me because i loved the neckline but those sleeves were not doing it for me so i decided to get them altered now a lot of people will say you're crazy you're paying more to alter them than you actually paid for the piece itself but i am a firm believer in adjusting your pieces to your body to making them fit you as well as possible no matter how much they cost you will see here the difference between the one that has been altered and the original shape. I personally think that the proportion looks much better now. And if you buy something and you feel like something is off, maybe it doesn't look right, it is your brain telling you that some detail, some proportion should be altered and adapted to what you prefer. So take that piece to a tailor or to a seamstress, ask for their opinions, they are the experts after all, and just do an alteration. I really feel like people nowadays are very catered to and have so many options that they feel like if there's a tiny little detail that they want changed, they won't change it, they just won't get that piece. I am 100% sure that I will wear this t-shirt way more the way it has been altered now i will be taking the green one to the seamstress as soon as i finish filming this video get your clothes altered i have heard that jennifer aniston for instance alters all of her clothes including her t-shirts must be for a reason last time i did this video i shared how important for me it is to know the bare minimum makeup that i can do in a really short period of time to look presentable so when i'm running late i can still put something on and look a little bit more awake and a little bit more polished but i also think if you want to go beyond that finding the technique that works for you but that is not necessarily trendy or the obvious one is a very smart thing to do. I have been loving these two little neat tricks that work for my face shape and for the style of makeup that I wear that is very discreet. So first one is applying a pencil on the outmost part of my eyes and smudging it out. I am not talking about creating a flick. I am not talking about lining my whole eyes. I am talking about applying it just to the external part of the eye you can do this with eyeshadow but i feel like with an eye pencil one it lasts longer but two it is easier to blend so you don't look like you've been punched in the eye by muhammad ali so what i basically do is i use this pencil by nyx which is great for this i guess it was created just for smudging out which gives you a very seamless very blown out look i apply it to the corners of my eyes blend it out with the little brush that comes with the product and I am left with this more defined, more elongated look without having too graphic or too harsh. So I think that it gives me a very sophisticated look without looking like I'm trying too hard. Tip number two is using a lip liner that is in a nudie brown. It's almost the color of my lips. And I line only the outer corners of my lips. I think this gives me not only the illusion of volume, but it structures the shape of my lips without looking too drawn on. You know that look from like the 90s models that is so hot right now? I feel like that can look great on camera or for photos, but in real life, it can be a little too much, a little too makeup-y. So I do this and then I apply either a balmy lipstick on, sometimes I even blend it out with my fingers and a apply a simple lip balm. It adds that dimension and again, that polish 
without looking like too much makeup. My point is be creative and be intuitive with the way you use makeup products. Something that might be great for a beauty guru might not work for you and that is okay. The important thing is to know your face and know what you want to look like. And today we have a bonus tip. So tip number five is more related to behavior than to actual fashion and style. This is something that requires constant monitoring, discipline, and self-awareness, which is gesturing. What you do with your hands and how you choose to move them really changes and guides what you want to reflect. Stick them in your pockets and you look cool and disengaged. Cross them in front of you and you look more regal and more conservative. Cross them behind you and you'll look a little bit more girly and more flirty. Same thing when you're, for instance, sitting in a Zoom meeting. Close them in a fist over your mouth and you look worried and a little bit tense. Touch your cheek and chin and you have a more demure, more charming attitude. Rest them on the table and you get a more calm, more commanding look. So just be mindful of how you choose to move your hands and what to do with them. I have seen many times people trying to achieve a look. They have the exact same clothes. For instance, I had this friend that was a huge fan of Kate Middleton and she knew that Kate Middleton once in a while got clothes from LK Bennett. She got the exact same dress that Kate was wearing, the same shoes, everything. And she was just so frustrated that she didn't look like her. And it was all about posture and gesture. I am a big advocate for emulating the people that you admire for different reasons. So if you feel like someone is very elegant and moves in a gracious way or moves in a confident way or even in a more sultry, sexy way, try and be very analytical about which movements and which placements of hands that person does. So mirroring the same movements and that body language will help help you achieve the same look even if you're not wearing the exact same clothes. This is it everyone, these are my tips for looking immediately more elegant. Now they are not as immediate as the other ones but I still think that they are very easy to apply to your life and do achieve great results without that much effort. Hopefully you found this useful or at least entertaining. Do you guys have any tips about how to look immediately more chic. I always love to hear them. Leave them down in the comments below so we can all see them. And we will see each other again next time. Bye!